Hi, this is Alexander from Riverview, and today we have one of the best M cars ever produced. Behind me right now is the BMW M4 CS. So the M4 CS really stands for competition sports. So much carbon fiber has been dressed on this vehicle. So now here you have the front splitter, full carbon fiber. The only downside with having a splitter this low is when you go over bumps, you have to be super mindful not to scratch it. And it's quite receptible when it comes to actually stone chip. This whole stance of the vehicle, big, wide and aggressive. The M cars have almost a wide body kit versus if you had to go into the normal 4 series. This is done for aerodynamics and as well the presence of the M car on the road. Moving on to the side of the vehicle, we have 19 inch CS forge rims and what is the main stopping power on this car is the carbon ceramic brakes. That helps with brake fade, stronger braking, especially with this car which comes with over 460 horses. It's rumored to be that this car is producing 510 horses. This is not just your stock standard M4 CS. <laughs> So moving on to the business end of the car, we have these beautiful CS rear spoiler, which just helps with downforce in the vehicle. We have carbon fiber rear diffuser, which looks so good. I mean, just look at it. And what makes this car so special? It actually has an aftermarket exhaust. <laughs> So how do you actually start this car? Normally with BMWs, it's a super simple process. Foot on the brake, you're gonna find your start button, which is situated right next to the steering wheel. And then you just do the magic press. So what makes this car so special as well, apart from the M4 competition, is that you don't actually have the armrest. That has been completely deleted and it's been lowered, which is great when it comes to saving weight, but not great when you're actually driving because you're literally doing the chicken dance, trying to rest your elbow onto something. But apart from that, if you actually look at the purpose of this vehicle, it's not made for comfort, it's made for performance. Now, coming onto the steering wheel, we have beautiful steering wheel over here. Pity is not covered in Alcantara, but the leather really just sets a little bit more of a luxury feel which is also not a bad thing when a car that luxury is being deleted. Which is also quite different about this vehicle is the climate control controls themselves. They're not any more electronic. It has more of a manual touch that you can just switch around and actually feels great. It feels more of a car than more of a robot. And it has just your general stuff. It has your infotainment system, your navigation. Unfortunately, this car hasn't been retrofitted with the Apple CarPlay. Who needs to look at Google Maps when you're going sideways around a corner? Other features that just make this car so much more different to your traditional M4 competition, just the use of Alcantara throughout the interior. Right across the infotainment screen, you have CS right over here, which just lets you know that you're in something special if the carbon fiber hasn't told you that already. Now, regarding the actual seats, for weight saving purposes, they have deleted parts of the seat, but don't worry, it's still equally comfortable. Still with the Alcantara, just to help you with extra grip. And if you're sweating because you're going so fast, don't worry, the car's got you. So over here, we actually have the carbon fiber engine brace. This engine brace just makes the chassis a little bit more stiffer, which helps around corners and reduces engine vibration. Now the next step, which I said to you guys, which is the party trick, this car has a software update. So it's a stage two, which bumps up the horsepower ridiculously. And this makes this car, which is already unmanageable to drive to something quite like a demon, which you guys are gonna experience a bit later in the video with the drive. This particular motor in its stock form, if it was in for competition, would producing about 400 and 40 horsepower but because of all the modifications downpipe mids and full exhaust system plus the software update stage 2 this car is producing somewhere of north of 510 horsepower not really great when it comes to budget when it comes to fuel economy and rear tires I want you guys to hear the downshifts on this car. Oh, and just those BMW crackles. It's so good. And because this car has been fitted with the aftermarket software update, you just, oh, you get that popcorn on. That just sounds unreal, which I really enjoy. It's just something special about these cars. Not every other car is a BMW. Another cool thing about this car is just the actual general launch. Look and feel this. It just goes. You just want to keep going. It's just incredible, this car. The full experience of BMW is felt in this thoroughbred racing vehicle. 
CS, competition sports, lightweight, and it handles like a dream. Talking about the driver's experience on this vehicle, so one thing you'll notice when you pull off, it actually has almost a jerking feel. So when you're not used to this kind of vehicle, it is a bit foreign to you because you're so used to something being so smooth. But this car is not just about being refined. It is a thoroughbred racing car. So one thing that's also, that stands out about this car is the actual speed and feel when you drive this car. When you're going fast, it really feels like you're going fast. It's not like a Ferrari where you'll be clocking about 180 and it feels like you're going 60. In this car, you really feel those Gs. So let's talk about daily life with this car. This car is the kind of car that you can take the kids to school and you can take it straight to the race course. I mean, here in South Africa, we have Kyle Army and this car, you can go sideways going over 180 kilometers into a corner and this car will help you if you feather that throttle but if you're too reckless with that throttle you are going one way and that's into the sidewalls because this car is not just for your amateur driver you really got to know what you're doing and this car is just not for anyone this is for your car enthusiasts this is for someone that is experienced and talking about experience there are a little bit of creature comforts when it comes to this car you have heated seats, you have these really interesting dials. So you're normally used to all these electronic buttons, or these electric buttons, should I say. But I really love the mechanical feel about this car. You can adjust it where you need it to go. Super simple, but I kind of like it. It just brings a little bit of a throwback as to what BMW is all about. It's not just about technology, but also about the mechanical aspect of the car. To conclude as to why this is one of the best M cars ever produced, purely the fact that this is the happy medium between a track car and a daily car. It is a quite a stiff ride, but if you can look past that, it all literally compensates for all the thrills that you experience in this car. The CS is something so unique, and that is why BMW chose to make such a limited production of these cars. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're looking for more of this kind of exciting content, you know where to go. See you guys on the next video.